Hello, Euroboxes. Welcome back to another Eurobox interview. Today we have with us Pam Rabbits from the Czech Republic. Hello, Pam. Hello. <laughs> It's so nice to have you here, um, but uh, you're shortlisted to represent the Czech Republic this year in Eurovision. Tell us about the selection process, how it was, how did you decide to take part? All right, so um, last year I was a vocal singer or backup, backup singer for Mikolas Josef. I think you remember him. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I remember when we were in a studio practicing uh, I released a new song and he listened to my new song and he said, Wow, Pam, you should try Eurovision next next year. I mean, I really like what you're doing, right? And that was kind of like a like a punch, you know, for me. I was like, wow, he's right. Like, I would, I would like to be there. I would like to experience this thing by myself, you know, and represent my country. So this year I sent a song to our TV and they choose eight uh, people. They choose eight artists. And now there's, there's like, now the Czech Republic is actually choosing who's going to go represent Czech Republic. So till next Monday, till 21st of January, people can vote. And in order with that, like, who gets the most votes will go represent Czech Republic. Nice. So um, how did you find out you were shortlisted? Did you receive a phone call? Did you suddenly someone ran and told you you're shortlisted? Oh yeah, actually, exactly. I was in, in my uh, my friend's movie premiere, and I come, came out, you know. And it was all about that friend, right? So, mm -hmm. and now somebody calls me, and, <laughs> and they're like, "Yo!" And they were with this voice. Uh, so you got into the uh, Czech final. So yeah, and I'm like, "Wait, what?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, you're you're there, you're there." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh my god, oh my god, I'm there!" <laughs> now I'm like, "Oh my god, now I can't take the attention from my friends." <laughs> so I just. <laughs> And I was like, mm, nice and by the way, I'm in a final. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to like keep it really low, you know, but I was happy. Oh my God. <laughs> so I imagine this process is a little bit different from uh, your lie to me experience. How are you getting ready for this uh, easy to believe challenge? Oh, you mean like, uh, you mean like for the song or you mean like for this voting or? For everything. For everything. Okay. Wow. Or oh. This is very new to me because I I love uh, or I love everybody who are being themselves. I really mm -hmm. stand for that, and uh, I have a lot of friends who belong to LGBT, mm -hmm. and I just don't like what is like uh, even in Czech Republic. Like, there's some problems with LGBT, you know, and all that. Uh, so I'm really trying to trying to put LGBT now more in the music, and this is like my first song when I actually like did it. I because it's a risk, of course, you know, it's mm -hmm. always a risk, and I was like. I don't care. Like I love, I love my people. I love people who are embracing themselves, and I'm gonna fight for them. So this song was for me like another, you know, like step into like mm -hmm. introducing myself uh, in some kind of a risky way. But I'm super happy because uh, to see like people from LGBT uh, that are actually happy with it is for me everything, you know. So I think this was like the the biggest thing right now with this song for me. Mm -hmm. And and hopefully I can get to represent Czech Republic with that because that would be amazing. So, and right now I'm just training, I'm trying to get like choreography for that, you know, because I would like to dance to this mm -hmm. one <laughs> and just um, sing and sing it again because it doesn't sound like that, but it's actually a very hard song to sing. So I have to practice a lot. I can imagine. Did you write the song and uh, did you receive any help or it was just you with your emotions? Actually, uh, when I was with Mikolas in Portugal last mm -hmm. year, uh, I met a new producer called Soundskills and uh, from like coming back to Czech Republic I went to Portugal like five times now I think again like mm -hmm. after after and after and we started to write together so the music uh, like the in instrumental is his like beat mm -hmm. and uh, lyrics and, and singing is mine so we kind of like collaborated together and made made the made this song and even the song I released before called Try this is mm -hmm. like with yeah, about Try, um, you have a very distinctive sound uh, soundtracks uh, that I really love. They're kind of like modern, but red, this is kind of a retro element, I don't know. 
if this is what you're going for, which seems like uh, a musical evolution for your ever first release song, uh, Animal Power. Do you feel it that way? Do you feel that you have musically evolved to a more dance beat or how do, would you describe it, your sound? Yeah, I would say that, I would say that because um, Animal Power, I wrote that when I was 15, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm 21. so. And these like 15, 21, you know, that's the moment when people are actually growing the most, right? When you like changing a lot. And I would say that right now I kind of find myself in this trappy pop punk music, you mm -hmm. know? And that's what I want to do at least for this year, for 2019. I want to go like this kind of a trap and uh, or have singles that are songs, maybe EP, that are more funk, like easy to believe. Like my next song. Is going to be uh is going to be even I think more funky more funk than easy to believe. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. So who would you say are your musical influences? Wow, that's a lot, you know, because I I can't really tell because I grew up on so many different genres because mm -hmm. I was dancing hip hop so all the hip hop scene. Um, then, you know, my uh, my parents are, uh, or my mom is like Armenian, so the yeah. Armenian like <laughs> these kind of native songs. Yeah all the country, all the rock, all the, all of that, you know, which made me kind of kind of messed up in my head what I want to do, like what kind of music I want to do. But mm -hmm. I would say that I love James Brown a lot. Mm -hmm. I just love this, uh, you know, when you when you sing and it's kind of like percussions, when it's like not even singing, it's like a you know, and I'm like, oh my God, I want that. So I would say it's a lot from a lot of singers that I can really put it together, but I would say it's a lot from, uh, from Afro-American music, you know. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, if you won, or do you have an idea of how would you stage your song? You said with a lot of dancing, so would you bring the Mensa Brothers back to Eurovision? <laughs> or how would you, how can you visualize your, your song being staged? Well, because it's a song that uh, uh, is for LGBT, mm -hmm. I would imagine something like go over the top, you know? <laughs> Like I would go with the drag queen. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I would see stage like a paradise, you know, like a, mm -hmm. like a LGBT paradise. Yeah. Like I really, because I Eurovision loves things that are over the top, right? Mm -hmm. Just Eurovision loves that, and I would go uh, with that. I would really see uh, something super, just, just ew, you know, like something super yeah. girly, but at the same time super powerful, mm -hmm. and. I don't know if Mensa Brothers would want to wear a drag queen costume. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe that surprise you. I mean, if they want, I'm open to that. <laughs> I'm not judging, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there are two videos of your song. One that was filmed with uh, Czech Republic TV in a uh, Czechka TV, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. And then your official one, um, your uh, Czechka TV one. Uh, it's filmed in the bathroom and I find it super interesting because it's a bathroom full of tiles and we in Lisbon there's a lot of tiles. So in my mind I was asking myself, did you make it on purpose to reflect your producer's influence? Actually, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so into conspirational theories then. <laughs> but good one though. <laughs> but you find something, that's good. <laughs> that's because you're Irish, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was like, you know, Czech, uh, Czech TV wanted to make music videos for each of us mm -hmm. by themselves because they wanted to ha like they wanted to uh, do the same concept, you know? Yeah. So even if we had music video, uh, it didn't matter. They wanted to make this music video. And the concept was this house and everybody get a room. I got a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to work that bathroom. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It was super small, right? And I and they told me it's gonna be like an English bathroom, right? And I'm like, English bathroom, all right. So I went inside. I imagine like a brick, you know, like a bricks. Uh -huh. And I came inside. I'm like, this is Portugal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. I was. This is no English. This is Portugal. Come on, guys. Like. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, I got. I get. I had to work that bathroom, right? Because it was like two meters square. <laughs> But but exactly, you found something interesting. I didn't even realize that it's actually so connected. That's that's weird, <laughs> but beautiful. <laughs> mm, so have you heard? You've probably heard the other uh, seven shortlisted songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you were to represent the Czech Republic, we made this question yesterday to Yara Vimer. 
Um, mm -hmm. If you were not going with your song, but with any other of the seven shortlisted songs, which one would you choose? Oh my God. If you want to tell us. I have friends there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. Oh, I I'm mean, just going to tell you that Yara Wimmer chose your song. Really, he did? Yeah. Oh, that's even worse now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, can can I can I say maybe two songs because I'm really like, uh, yeah, uh, I would say I would I would actually I would send either either uh, um, Jakub uh, uh, Jakub Ondra with Space Sushi, you know, or I would actually I would actually send Yara too because I feel like uh, I love Space Sushi because of the craziness of it all, and I think that really works for Eurovision, and I would send Yara Vinyar because I really like. The, the way his ballad goes, I think, uh, I think the stage could be really beautiful. Something really, uh, like, how to say it, energetic, or you know, something. Yeah, yeah, something really in exactly intimate. You know, because he, he looks a lot like what is his name? The the uh, the guy from Portugal that won. Yeah, uh, uh, Salvador Sobral. Is that, yeah, exactly. And he created this some kind of a space that was super safe, right? And I think Yara would do would would be able to do the same thing. So I really like that. Cool, that's a really cool answer. Um, okay, what's my next? Uh, the interview will be edited, so if we mess up, okay, it's okay. good taste. Like, I'm a little bit blind, so I'm a little bit like, where are my questions? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, found it. Um, are you writing music on a regular basis, or how do you come up with these songs? Do you wait till inspiration hits you, or you just constantly feel inspired? I would say, um, I, I actually feel I guess inspired all the time. Like uh, I don't I don't I'm not one of those like uh, artists that just like oh my god inspiration, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> which I I adore. Like it's amazing. I think it's amazing. But I'm mm. more like if I if I feel like tired of the world around me, I'm just like this is my my really this is my my uh, way my therapy. You know. Mm -hmm. So when I feel like I just want the silence and I just when I take everything out, that's the moment when I know I'm ready to write. So I just sit down and I can s close myself in a studio with some, my team or with my producer and just like be with the closest people, you know, and just go through this therapy and, and have fun. So I think it's more like if I need it, I just I just do it. <laughs> and um, how do you think your uh, Eurovision experience is you're one of the I, you're the only contestant shortlisted that has actually lived the, what the whole production means? How do you think that can play on your favor? Uh, you mean in like voting or you mean if I get there? If you uh, get there. If I get there. Well, I think it will help me a lot because uh, I, I know what's going to happen. Like completely. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think there's going to be something that will surprise me. I know uh, how many sacrifices Mickey had to ha have. To have my, I'm sorry, my rabbit is eating something. <laughs> oh, we'll ask you about your rabbit. He can be featured in camera if you want. <sighs> okay. <laughs> This is my bunny. Hello, bunny. <laughs> a rabbit with an actual rabbit. How cool yes. is that? Where do you think it comes from? <laughs> oh, yeah. Please also tell us about where the rabbit part comes from. Okay. So, but I'm gonna press the, uh, the yeah. Let's finish the <laughs> other question before. So uh, I think the fact that I know how many sacrifices Mickey had to uh, like do, you know, mm -hmm. like no sleep, no just work, 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 and uh, I'm aware of that, and I still want to do it, you know. And uh, I think just the fact that I have to take off this this like weight of what is it going like what's going to happen, I don't have that. So I'm just I just know what I need, what I have to have ready, what is what I'm going to sacrifice, and how much time it will take. So I think that's that's like a lot. So. <laughs> and now, why right. Pam rabbits? Yeah. All right. So uh, when I released my first song, because my real name is Pamela. Mm -hmm. But when I released my first song, Animal Power, I just wrote Pamela. Mm -hmm. And then uh, me and my producer were like, like many people actually would tell me, oh, that's so boring. Like, oh my God. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> nice friends. Yeah. Uh, well, so I have very honest friends. <laughs> and, you know, like I called myself for a long time before on Instagram or Facebook, uh, Rabbit or Pam Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Um. Because 
when I like five years ago uh, bought my little rabbit, <laughs> I was just upset, and all of my friends who started to call me not all of them, but a few friends started to call me rabbit, right? Mm-hmm. So this was my nickname, and Pam is my nickname because I'm Pamela. And then when I was, I was trying to come up with the name, I was like, I don't want to come up with the name. That's like, that's not cool, <laughs> you know. So I just, I just put Pam and Rabbit together, and I have the Pam Rabbit. <laughs> Going back to your music video, the the official one, it seems super fun to to shoot. Was it a fun experience? Yes, it was amazing. We laughed so much. Like the uh, the. Um, leading actor who ha- who played transgender is my dance trainer oh he's, really yeah he's he's been training me for so long in my crew and like the moment i told him like you're gonna have to shave your legs your face <laughs> you're gonna have to put nails on mm-hmm. and all that and he was like let's do it <laughs> i'm like okay <laughs> the waxing scene is so funny yeah, yeah, <laughs> but that 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 scene had, took so much work, like to like take the time, you know, to put the time right. Oh mm. my god! But it was so much fun because we all of my there was only my friends because all of the dancers uh, were friends from my crew, mm-hmm. so we just had amazing time and everybody was super super nice and my director uh, was amazing. So I think everything was just fun. Nice. So you've mentioned you have another song coming after uh, Easy to Believe. Mm-hmm. So what in the worst ca- case scenario that you don't go to Eurovision, what can we expect from you? What does the future hold for Pam Rabbit? <laughs> well, uh, I think if if I don't uh, if I if I go and if I don't go, I think it's kind of the same. I just want to release my next song. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the funk song because I really trust that song and I think it's the most it's my most favorite song I've ever made so I, I really looking forward to release that song and the music video that I'm planning it's gonna be a little bit crazy but I just can't wait for that so what you can wait for me is just I'm gonna work work and work harder you know until like people start to start to realize I'm here <laughs> nice and our final question um you're releasing song after song after song. Can we expect an album? I think you can for sure expect EP. Mm-hmm. You know, but I would really love, I would really love the album. But right now, I'm really working on people like even know that I'm actually on the scene. You know, mm-hmm. so I don't like put out the whole album and then kind of uh, waste songs and not be able to do music videos and all that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying right now to do singles. Yes. And after I see that people actually kind of start to realizing I'm here, I can like do EP or I can do album if I have enough like songs for them in that moment. So yeah. I think people are realizing that you're here from all of the buzz from the internet. I'm not sure if you pay attention to that or you want to keep your mind clear and or but they you seem to be having a lot of support, especially because people already know you from as a as Nicholas back back vocals. And uh, he's shown your support online so his followers definitely know who you are. Oh, thank you. Well, so I'm trying not to look to anything because <laughs> I'm really trying to like now focus on, you know, like doing some like going to schools and trying to get votes and all that. Mm-hmm. And reading stuff is kind of sometimes it takes you down because you read some bad yeah. stuff. So I just read and I read it and then I see the ending, like if I'm getting if I'm going or I'm not going. So, <laughs> so thank you so much. Well, guys, these were our questions for Pam Rabbit. Pam, we wish you all the best on the road to Tel Aviv and we will keep your fingers, our fingers crossed. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, also follow Pam, comment on her, show her some support and some love. And till we see you next time, bye! Bye! <laughs>